welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will cover a very small topic a very small concept but it holds a great importance okay so the topic for today is that we will learn about one of the property of the page which is a uh, very very important and uh, before we talk about that property let's understand the use case of that property like what problem we generally face on the page level and how we can eradicate that okay so i have created a very small extension if you if i show you so here you can see that i have created two tables okay one is table main which has uh, only two fields number and name okay and the primary key of this table is both number and name and now if i go to the second table it has the test table and it has number name and total field three fields are there but if you see the third field it is a flow field and uh, which has a calc formula defined as count and uh, what it is counting the total number of records from the main table uh, where the number field is equals to the number field of this particular table okay and same uh, i've created a pages for main and test table and just define the fields only there is nothing concrete in those pages so let's go back to the business central web client and here you can see that uh, if i show you first the main page so here i have created four records like 11 and name and then 2 2 and then name okay and now if i show you the test page as soon as i put one number here uh, i got this two count uh, in the total field and same for the uh, number 2 so if i click on let's say this particular 2 it will open this main table and it will it is showing me that uh, with respect to that two number you have total number of two records defined in the main table which is which goes like this okay now what happen is that uh, in case if i delete uh, this record from the main table okay let's say i delete this and then i delete this as well all right now what happen is that if i go back to the main uh, my my test page which has the calc formula defined okay total is a flow field so you can still see that 2 is still showing to me right if i click here as well then also nothing updates no matter you change the records but the value is still not updated right if i again click here now it is gone but there is no record but still 2 is showing to me now the things are that either we can refresh this page or let's say if i reopen this page then only it will show me the correct value which is 0 right so this is one of the problem which i faced uh, during my uh, during my work okay so the the best solution is that some sometimes uh, like we do write the code that current page dot update as soon as we do cert, uh, certain things on the other page and then when we back to the main page uh, it should show us the updated results right so for that code uh, for that if you want to do this or if you want to remove this problem we generally write the code of current page dot update right but rather than if uh, you can do all this work with just one property and there is no need for uh, writing any particular code to go with this uh, to remove this problem then uh, the property name of this page is let's go to the main page so this is my page so what you have to do here is that oh, uh, go to the property section of that page and there is a property name called refresh on activate okay and we just have to set it to true if i show you the definition of this property it says that set this property on the pages where you want to refresh the data 
when the user navigates back from another page so for example we were uh, deleting the record from the main main page and uh, then when we come back to the test page the records were not updated but if we set this property refresh on activate then automatically when you come back to the test page you will see that your flow field gets updated automatically so this property is very very important in case you are using certain flow fields in your pages where you want that any changes on that particular table on which your field uh, flow flow field is depend on it should uh, show the users updated results then you must set this property to true okay let's compile this and let me redeploy this so that we can see the results uh, like whether uh, this property is working as intended or not okay so here is the case let me delete uh, let me close the old page and okay perfect now let's open the test page again and this time currently it is showing two and if i go back here and let me delete the first record only okay now it has one and uh, you can see that my total field is now showing one only right so as soon as i come back to this main page uh, it started showing me the updated results now if i delete this one as well and now if i go back you can see that records are updated as soon as i uh, move to my test page so this is the use case of this property refresh on activate which uh, generally uh, gives us the updated results of the page okay whatever changes we are doing uh, it will always show us the updated results so i know this is a very small concept but uh, i feel that maybe you guys if in case facing this issue then rather than writing any particular code anywhere on certain triggers of the page uh, my suggestion is that go with this property refresh and activate it will generally it will definitely give you the best results. So with that note, uh, today I just want to close the video now. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like my video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.